guys, welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jared. Today's episode is going to be slutty brownies, so let's get to cooking. Alrighty, so this is everything you're going to need for the slutty brownies. You're gonna need brownies, Oreos, and then cookie dough. So if you don't have that, go ahead to the store and get it. But if you do, great, and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna wanna place your cookie dough in your square pan. So square pans are definitely the best um, for the slutty brownies, but uh, definitely place the cookie dough and then just roll it out. If you have a roller, that's great. But if you don't, just uh, use your hands or whatever other devices available. All right, so here you go. Once you have it all rolled out, this is what it's gonna look like. And the next thing you wanna do, I'd say about 16 Oreos, or just buy a whole uh, box of Oreos, and just, you're gonna wanna put it right on top of this. All right, so you want four four by four rows of Oreos, and you wanna place them semi-close to each other, and you just wanna do that. And then the next step here is you wanna take your brownie mix, and you wanna get that all set up, and then kind of glaze it over it. All right, guys, so now once your mix is all stirred up, brownie mix looks pretty good, and you have the base for your slutty brownie, you're gonna wanna pour the brownie mix on slight spoonfuls over it and kind of melt it almost like if you're frosting something. All right, so this is gonna look like what it's gonna look like once you pour your brownie batter in. And it should be absolutely delicious. You want your oven, it's preheating right now, but you want to preheat it to 350. And we're going to come back for a taste test and see how the slutty brownies turned out. So once this is all ready, you're going to want to crunch up some Oreos on the top for a little extra creamy flavor on top. So go ahead and do that. But if you prefer pretzels, you could definitely do that. All right, so once you put your Oreos topping, it's going to look like this. We are going to cook it. The oven's still preheating up to 350, as I mentioned earlier. And um, you're just going to want to pop it in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes. We're going to do a taste test to see how delicious or how terrible it is. So I'm either going to, like, eat so much of it or just spit it out, throw up so bad. But we're going to find out in about 40 to 45 minutes. Five minutes later. Right, so once you do it, as you can say, see, inside there, that's what it's going to look like. So you're going to have your Oreo filling, cookie and the Oreo top with the brownies. So here's what it looks like when you cut it. I'm gonna do a taste test uh, to see how it tastes. All right guys, so I'm here. I'm about to taste test this one bite. Everyone knows the rules. We're gonna see how the slutty brownie came out. Mmm, oh wow. Okay. One bite. Everyone knows well. Um, it's good. It's moist. Decent. Oreo filling's good. You can taste the cookies. A little burnt on the brownie piece. Maybe cooked it a little too long there. Everything else really good. Alright, so this is absolutely like 100% delicious. Just look at this. Like, this is really, really good. It's almost like a s'more sandwich. Like a new kind of invention, s'mores kind of thing, but like, it's really, really good. Mm. Mm. I like, right, so there's two things I want to mention for how they made this, because, you know, you learn from your mistakes. So the one thing that I did well is balance all the ingredients well, because you could really taste all um, the different layers, and they all definitely have their own flavors. But the thing... Um, I did bad, I cooked it a little too long, and I don't think I rolled the cookie dough out extremely well, but again, it still tastes good, um, just because of that little minor thing, I'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10, but stay tuned, a lot more food videos coming up on the channel, a lot more of everything coming up on the channel, there's gonna be a new countdown to 2020 posted, uh, tomorrow, as there is every day, and, uh, I hope you all enjoy your Thanksgiving and just like have a great day. Boys.